Ooh, look what I got here. I got the big mama avocado and I got the little bitty baby avocado. I'm Dan and I've been designing kitchen gadgets for 39 years. I'm gonna test some avocado gadgets and see if I can find a way to make them better. Do a thing like this, divot here with the blade here. Open up this arc. These are the products I am going to test. Avocado cutter, avocado cuber, avocado, Mr. Avocado, avocado masher. Avocado cutter. This product is designed to split, pit, and slice avocados. Step number one is split. So it's a plastic blade, but it slices in pretty easily. And we are pretty well split, and the avocado actually looks pretty good inside. Now, step two is pitting with this inside tooth metal piece. Let's see if that is effective at all, and I would say no. So that's not working. Let me go dig it out as gracefully as I can with the slicing part. Mm, boy, it's not really happening. I'm trying not to ruin the avocado. Oh, okay, pit is out. Let's try slicing. So starting at the large ends, the curve is a little bit oversized for the size of the avocado. So I'm gonna force it a little bit and see what we get. And of course, as I come through, I'm gonna dig down as much as I can. So I'm scraping at the same time. And what I end up with is some rather mushy, but pretty acceptable avocado slices. Let's see how we do just using a knife and a spoon. In terms of effectiveness on a one to five scale, I would give the avocado cutter a two. The pit remover is a real disappointment. No way I am going to be throwing this avocado away. At the end of this video, I'm gonna be making a giant bowl of guacamole. And you're invited. So now it's time for the left-handed oil test. By making my non-dominant hand slippery, it's gonna highlight areas for improvement. It's also a quick way to simulate what it may be like for someone who has dexterity problems. But let's give it a go. It's a little clumsy, it's a slice, but it's okay. I'm spinning the avocado, no problem, because right hand is doing it. Oh, the, now actually, it wasn't that great at being in the center. So there's gonna be no hope of getting this pit out, but there was no hope before anyway. Let's go in and dig it out. The width of the handle is kind of okay. It's a little skinny, which means there's a little pinching going on. So I can feel myself tightening up to hold on to this, which would uh, require less force if it was a little fatter. And I'm gonna go in and press, and it's taking a little bit of work to do that. And let's see, I've got a relatively mangled avocado this time. Yeah, not pretty at all. In terms of usability on a one to five scale, I would give this a one. It just requires more of a struggle than you would want. Let's think about a redesign. In terms of the handle, I think I would make it just thicker so it's a little bit easier to grab. I would give it like a bit of a flare or a shape in this direction. There's no real reason for this to be flat and give it some sort of bulbous shape or anything that would help grab it without pinching very hard. This part of it really should not be recessed like this. So right now what we have is the blade and here is the avocado with the pit. So it just doesn't get to the teeth. It should be like this with the blade here so that the avocado pit would be caught by the teeth. One other thing I would recommend is that because the top of this is rounded, it's not very conducive to scraping out the avocado. I would go like this for that shape so that as you're scraping the avocado, you have a little bit more of an edge. The shell now of the avocado would be here and it would just be much easier to scrape and get every last bit of avocado out of the shell. My buy rating on a scale of one to five is one. It's a tool that only works in avocados and it doesn't work very well on the avocados. My advice for this tool is avocado don't buy it. Avocado cuber. Its purpose in life is to split and dice an avocado. Let's see how effective it is. The cutter is being a little difficult. Once it breaks through the skin, it's okay. I'm gonna pull this apart. Because this does not have a pitting function, I would use a knife at this point, but I'm gonna skip that for the moment and just go in with the cuber. Just press down on it. I'm gonna rock it a bit because we don't really fit perfectly. At this point, I think I would try twisting it to see if I can get those cubes to release. I did, I've got some cubes that you can use in a salad. Not very effective. 
at getting all the avocado out. Let's see how the avocado cuba compares when I'm using just a plain old knife and spoon. In terms of effectiveness on a scale of one to five, I would give the avocado cuba a two, and I think that's being a little generous. Not a clean cuba. It's time for the left-handed oil test. Again, I wish that blade was a little sharper. I will now press with my left hand, and no real problem there because it's not like there's a lot of force. Where the trick may come in is when you're spinning or trying to release the cube. And boy, that's not easy with either hand because the shell is just round and slippery. In terms of usability, I would rate this a two. The fact that these wires are so thick, it mangles the avocado a bit. So let's see how I would redesign this. I think I would make this blade, I think I would get rid of that curve and just make this blade straight. And actually make it just a little bit longer because it wasn't getting into the pit as you're coming around the long side. I'm not thrilled with the wires that are being used here. I think if you're gonna cube a avocado, instead of thick wires, you would want some sort of blade. I would uh, do a thing like this for the blades. So make the blades out of sheets of metal. When you slice down, you're gonna get a cleaner cut cube. And then when you spin, I think you're gonna get a cleaner cut of uh, cleaning out the shell. I would just do something a little differently to the outside to give something to grab on. Give it a shape or a belly or just something that you can get your fingers into so that it's not spinning out of control when you try to spin this in the avocado shell. In terms of a buy rating, I would give the avocado cuba a one. It just has a lot of competition with just a standard knife and spoon. Let's say you have a mean and angry dog at home. This could be a very effective device. Avo Quado. Or as we'd like to say, Avo Quado. It is called the avocado because it does four things. Split, pit, slice, and scoop an avocado. All right, I'm gonna split this avocado as closely down the center as I can, and it gets in okay, no problem. Even though it's not a sharp blade, it is like a sharp butter knife. The split was pretty clean. Now let's try to pit. I'm gonna go in with these teeth. Yep, it's out. Why don't I slice it? Since it's one of the four things, it does. And what's nice about the rounded blade is that it moves pretty quickly. So I'm kind of liking that. It slices no problems. And now let's try the scooping part. I'm gonna squeeze to size. I'm gonna push in as hard as I can so that I'm not leaving too much in the shell. And I thought actually that worked pretty well. Let's see how we do just using a knife and a spoon. In terms of effectiveness on a scale of one to five, I would give the avocado a five. I think it works pretty well. Yeah, I kind of like it, the avocado. Let's test the usability. How's your skin these days, Dan? My skin is doing great. I'm going to try to go down the center of the pit. Again, it's only an avocado, so that was relatively easy. I'm going to spin it open. So I'm gonna come down on the pit, squeeze, spin it out, and that worked pretty well. Now slicing, but it's not really a strength thing. But it may be here, so let's see. Because what this requires to conform to the avocado is to squeeze this. And I could tell now that my left hand is slippery, it's a little out of control. It just doesn't want to stay in place. And the slices look good. Nice job, avocado. In terms of usability, I would give it a four out of five. All in all, pretty useful. Okay, so let's talk redesign. One thing I like about it is the roundness of this blade it will reduce the chance of having avocado hands. You know what avocado hand is? It is blood that runs diagonally across your palm of your hand because you use a sharp knife. In squeezing this, you may see some little ripples here that are designed uh, apparently to give some friction when you do squeeze this. However, they're pretty ineffective. So I would exaggerate that and give a bit of a divot here so your finger will fit in a well, not just slip forward when you squeeze this. The other thing I would do is, it takes a little bit of force to squeeze this and probably unnecessary force. This, I think I would thin down a little bit. And the last thing I would look at is in this cross section, making this more of a blade and it's kind of rounded. And what I would do is sharpen that a little bit so that when you're going in to scrape the avocado, you've got more of a blade edge to scrape out the inner workings of the avocado. 
My buy rating for the Avocado is five out of five. Of all the multifunction Avocado tools we have today, this one has impressed me the most so far. Mr. Avocado. Its purpose in life is to split, pit, slice, and scoop, all while looking cute. I will start by slicing. It's actually kind of thick and doesn't really want to cut through, even though it's got a serrated edge. I wouldn't say that it's that successful. The serrations on this device are roughing up the surface a bit. Okay, I'm gonna go in and try to persuade the pit to come out. There's no real way to spin this. Let me give that a shot. Nope, it's not gonna work like a paring knife to split it. I can work my way around it, but not without sacrificing the avocado half. Let's use the lesser mangled half, and I'm gonna use this free end here to slice. Not a big problem there, it's kinda of too bad it's curved. It doesn't really need to be curved. If I'm gonna go in now and scoop, I'm gonna work my way around it because the shape is not flexible, it's just stainless steel. Although it scoops out pretty well and it's pretty clean. Kind of okay with it, but not perfect. Let's see how we do just using a knife and a spoon. In terms of effectiveness, Mr. Avocado, I would give you a two. It's just a little too simple. You may not want Mr. Avocado in your kitchen drawer. It's cute and simple, but not quite right. Let's give Mr. Avocado the left-handed oil test. The serrations are not really helping to cut into the avocado skin. Okay, I'm in. Now the fact that it's curved isn't doing me any favors. It's not that easy to get a grip on this. It comes out with some prodding. I think I'll go for the slightly skinnier. Well, because I'm clumsy now with my left hand, I push through the skin and I'm struggling a bit with this. I said, it's not gonna flex like some of the other ones, so it's a little messy. It's not the prettiest version of a sliced avocado I've ever seen. Poor little guy. And look how messy he is. Get that out of your eye. In terms of usability, I would give this a one. There are too many things going on with it that are just inexcusable as an avocado tool. Mr. Avocado, I can understand why there is no Mrs. Avocado. You need to try harder. Okay, Mr. Avocado, get ready for a makeover. If they're gonna be serrations, they need to be a lot more prominent. So instead of tiny little serrations, I would really make this a better cutting edge. That being said, I'm not sure I would shoot for serrations because once the serrations get through the avocado, they, they rough up the surface. So better yet, I think I would make this more of a butter knife edge, no thickness, just come down to a blade, not a sharp blade. That's one thing I would change. Oh, secondly, I would just make this whole thing flat because slicing through the avocado with a curve just doesn't make sense. It's just hard to handle and it just, it's just not neat. I would also maybe rethink the way the pit comes out. That would come in uh, with enough of an angle to catch the pit. You would push it in, give it a twist, and the pit would twist, would twist out. So this hole in the middle, can't really find a purpose for it. I think it just lessens the mass a little bit or it gives it an open mouth. Maybe its mouth is open like that because slicing through an avocado hurts could be in pain. Maybe he's screaming about how bad of a job he did opening up the avocado. In terms of cuteness, I would give Mr. Avocado a five out of five, but cute isn't everything. In terms of a buy rating, Mr. Avocado gets a one. It's just not performing. Maybe you should go back to school and become Dr. Avocado. Avocado masher. This is a five in one tool. Its purpose in life is to split, pit, slice, scoop, and mash. That's a lot of things to do. Let's see how effective it is. Let's see if the uh, serrated edge is gonna cut through. And I think it's doing that. The serrations are big enough so that at least it's cutting through the skin. And let me see what I end up with, a rather mashed surface of the avocado. This is used to remove the pit. And I'm a little skeptical this is gonna be easy to do. And I am right. So what I end up with now is a somewhat mangled, half of an avocado. I will go in now and slice. This time slicing also releases it from the shell. I'm going to carefully form the avocado to the size of the tool because the tool is not flexible at all. I'm ending up with a pretty mangled slice. Let me see now if I go in and scoop. Let's go from there to try the mashing part. Do you think the surface is a little flat? It's not really cutting through and mashing. I think even a fork may do a somewhat better job. Let's see how the avocado masher compares to using the utensils you already have in your kitchen. Mm -hmm. 
In terms of effectiveness, I would give this a two. It just didn't do the job that it promised. Masha, for some reason, after using you, I'm just a little bit sadder than when I started. Hard to explain why. Time for the good old left-handed oil test. Uh, I can tell already it's a little out of control in my left hand. I'm going to start to slice and the serrations get through the skin eventually. I'm gonna spin the avocado. It's, it's a little mangled and the skin itself is rather torn on the edges. If I go in to remove the pit, let's see how this does. Nothing great about using the serrations to do that. Let's go in and slice. And as before, I'm going to need to spin this, but I don't know if you can see this, but this is spinning in my hand. There's nothing really to grab onto. I have to squeeze that much harder just to keep it in place. It didn't slice through all the way, so I'm gonna use my finger to do it, and now I've got partial slices. Let's use this half, just the scoop. Again, it's slipping a bit. I'm a little out of control. The handle now is cutting into the avocado. It's not the greatest shape. I'm gonna try this with my left hand. There is nothing really to keep my hand from pushing down. In terms of usability, I would give the avocado masher a one and a half, and only because I'm in a good mood today. But it really doesn't do a great job. Right now, the cross section of this handle is just about round. I would make it much more of an oval. So making this an oval shape would keep it more stable in the hand, much easier to spin as you're going through the avocado. The other thing I would do is probably open up this arc and see if there's a way to make this part of it flexible so it automatically conforms to the shape. I would also make this edge a little sharper. It's actually quite thick and quite rounded. I would make this more of a scraping edge so that as it goes through that way, it scrapes better. Uh, this serrated part is really a shame that the serrated part is kind of thick. It gives it an uneven surface. This would be better off being more of, an, of a flat knife edge. Bump it up a bit so it has a little more depth to it as you go around the avocado. This shovel end, instead of being angled at 90 degrees like it is, I think I would open that up. Let's say maybe to 45 degrees. That would give you a little more leeway getting into a bowl. You can go at the bowl at an angle. And I think it would help you also get through scooping. These fins also have a thickness that you really don't want. What I would do, because this is molded in that direction, I think I would make those a little sharper. So instead of these fins looking like, you know, the avocado is coming this way. And so what you would probably want to do is make these fins look a little more like that. Maybe skinnier and a bit of a sharpened edge so that they mash through and also would be more likely to release once the avocado gets to this side of the masher. In terms of a buy rating, I would give the avocado masher a one. I just think you have better tools already in your kitchen. Avocado masher, you mashed my hopes and dreams. I am going to give you one last chance to redeem yourself. We are going to make guacamole together. Get ready for the first mash session. Let's add some tomatoes and some chopped onions and salt, pepper. Let's squeeze a few limes in there. Chips. It's great. Where's the tequila? The challenge with designing such a specialized tool like an avocado gadget is it sets up some very high expectations. Most of these unfortunately fell very short. But don't worry, friends, as long as there are kitchen gadgets out in the world that need improvement, never fear, Dan is here.